today, I'm going after some players. The glitch from the last episode is fixed, so I can now craft my tip tarot. So everyone else had better watch out. Yes, welcome back to Friend or Foe. Now in this shulker box, I do have the piercing crossbow piercing one, that's perfect. I want to get piercing on this one as well, though I think having more than one crossbow will probably be quite useful. And I want to make player trackers, but I need diamonds for that, so that's another thing to uh, to get in the works. You can see we've got we've got some of those, uh, those there. Oh, we've got three here as well. Let's push the button, see what comes down. The machine kind of works, it just does everything in the wrong order. And yeah, diamonds are the most important thing for me to get right now. 16 minutes of PvP left. I don't know if I'll go for anybody in this specific PvP, but probably the one after that. This is a good chance just to get some preparations going. And I happen to know that this tunnel that leads all the way to the end is probably also a good place for me to get diamonds. At the moment, this cave's probably a little bit too high up, but it, it does go lower. In fact, it connects to a geode. Okay, that's kind of cool. And this one is even bigger. Yeah, this has got to be the way down here. You've got a higher chance of them spawning in water because they're not connected to air blocks so so yeah you get bigger veins but we are still higher up than i would like which might be why i'm not seeing any i'm just yeah, gonna pick them up with my silk touch pickaxe take a moment then i can use the fortune pick as and when i need it lapis here might as well grab that and this section opens up to a mine shaft and a massive cave surely 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 there's something here just gotta try and find them aha We've spotted them. Don't need a crazy amount, which is good. It'd be nice though if there's more than one just here. I, I didn't come all this way for one diamond, did I? I? I did. But I'm sure with a bit more explanation, there'll be more to be found. Aha! Two more. Fantastic. That, that that should be all that I need, really. With fortune. Should be loads. And I just keep finding massive caves. No, nope. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted a water bucket. There we go. Now when I jump, I can MLG. And I can buy more diamonds. Two in this little vein, which is good. The spider decides to climb up to me. I don't think so. The thing is, as much as I want to get to the end, I want to get these crossbows sorted. You just can't explore when you're in a good cave like this. You feel like you've got to properly search it. Because you never know how long it'll be until you find the next good cave. Oh, see, look at it. Absolutely fantastic. And this brings me back to a mine shaft. I'm not sure if it's the same one, though. It might be a lower down one, actually. So I'll continue in the low areas. I mean, that's going to be the best chance that I have of seeing any damage. In fact, somebody's probably been here because there's torches all around. There's torches everywhere in here. Yeah, somebody has, has pretty extensively explored this cave. Which means I should probably work... Oh, look at this. A spawn. I'll get some free XP. But yeah, I should probably work on getting out of here then. I wonder if they've got this minecart chest. I mean, I'll I'll take... I don't know. I, I don't need any of this stuff in there, really, do I? I do feel like the cobwebs could be useful. I'm just going to remember their location and then come back for them at some other time. I, I, I just want to get out of here, really. On my way back, I've got an extra diamond too. That's seven ores in total, which is pretty good. And this one over here as well. I didn't even see it. But it's, I was just there a second ago, so... That's, that's another one. We're up to eight. Maybe there's a second one here. You never know. Although at the moment, I generally just seem to be finding singles. Do I want to go down there? No. It's it's kind of back this way is the mineshaft I was at. I think I'm also going to grab some string from this other mineshaft. Because then I'll be able to craft more crossbows, get quick charge on them, piercing, all that good stuff. Somebody has just created an end portal. I just heard the sound for it. Oh. Could I go to the end? I mean, it is technically where I'm headed anyway. Mini says, what was that? So I, 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 if I'd have to guess now, I'd say Clown Pierce. Ah, Mini's blown the cover now. Clown Pierce is going to know that I know that he's, he's activated the end portal. He probably already knows. He's, he's a smart guy. So the only thing I want to check before I go through is have I got wood in my ender chest? 27. Okay, we've got a, got a decent amount. I'm actually going to chuck one of those there. I don't know why I'm manually mining these up. I might as well just use water. It's, it's going to be so much quicker. Do you mind? Get out of here. Get out of here. I say the water's going to be quicker. Not if it flows it all the way over there. Ooh, we've got a little secret chest here. I, I don't know if I've opened that before. I think I have to put granite in there. Anyway, what I'm thinking is I can mine up some stuff here. And the extra wood will come in handy. Now, if Clown Pierce is in the end, I might be able to shoot him in the void. I have a punch bow. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe I just keep hold of that. But more importantly, if I'm going to go down that route, I'm going to need a player tracker. So I'm just going to gather up... All the lapis, which can go into this shulker box. And also these diamonds. And actually, thanks to all the treasure I have, I can I can make the player tracker. In fact, I can craft two of them. So let's do that. Let's get two of them. We can we can keep one safely in here. And then for this one, I'm going to track Clown Pierce. And that leaves me about as ready as I can be for everything. Obviously, there's no PvP at the moment. But I would like to know exactly what he's up to. So let's let's sneak through. Nobody's here at the moment. I've, like I said, I've got an ender pill handy. If... Somehow I get knocked off. And where is it? He's somewhere in this direction. I could definitely... Right. <laughs> I don't know what to do. To get the crossbows or not, I, I've got to go and get, I've got to go and get these crossbows done. But there could be a battle in the end, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I know where he is. He will have gone through that end gateway at the end, which is why he's in that direction. It's all very, very interesting indeed. The good thing is as well, I don't know where... I, well, I know where he isn't. 
And that is at this Enderman farm. As far as I know, no one's here, but I've got to be careful because I don't want to get spleefed by anyone either. Now, first things first, I'll need a little bit more XP, and I can use that to put good stuff on the crossbow. Piercing four, quick charge tip. That's a pretty good one. I should get two fairly decent ones out of it. So let's go for it. Let's go and see if we can find him. I'm also not taking my netherite sword. Instead, I've got this diamond one, and the reason for that is it has knockback two on it. So if we can hit him and hit him into the void, uh, that's, that's got to be a great opportunity. It's going to be ender pearling across the end, it's, it's going to be a very, very tricky time for him. I don't know what he's out here looking for, whether it's for better loot, whether it's for shulker shells. It could be for anything. All I do know is he's somewhere over in that direction. Probably a long way in that direction, but I, I, I can catch up to him. But even use a swiftness to speed it up. Should we go for it? Let's do it. Why not, eh? The faster, the better, I always say. I mean, I, I think it's safe to say that he's gone this way. We're going to have to end up pearl across there like that. The clown pierce is pretty confident when it comes to when they put oh PvP's on. Okay, this is all coming together now. The stars are aligning. But yeah, clown is good with his pearl, so I've got to I've got to be very wary of that. That he's probably going to end the pearl a lot around. And I've got to make sure I don't end up end the pearl after him and fall in the void. I, I'd hate that for that to happen. On the flip side, chances are I have way more ender pearls than him as well. I, I should probably use these a little bit more. After the swiftness runs out, I'll probably use a lot more pearls. As indeed now run out. He's a little bit to the side. It's just, it's just a worry because what if I accidentally throw one and it lands in an awkward place? Some of them are okay. As long as you can see where the ender pearl is going to land, that's the main thing. At the same time, great care must be taken. According to the compass, he's somewhere in that direction. I don't know how he got all that way. All I know is I'll be bridging across a lot more carefully. There's an end ship over there. I'm willing to bet that that could be where he's at. The compass pointing that... There's a bridge that... Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is what we trained for. I have no blocks left. That's not a problem. I'm going to get this out. I'm going to get plenty of ender pearls and let's do this. I'm going to start by ender pearling over that. I don't see any sign of him. It must be inside somewhere though. Yeah, the compass 100% means he's, he's in this direction. Now the compass, he's somewhere above me, I think. Where's he at? Is he up here? I can swim up as well, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to eat. Get all this handy. And I hear him. Where's he at? At this point, I don't know if he's above or below me. Okay, he's left. I think he's gone over in that direction. Let's continue. No, he's this way. Wait, is he up there? What on earth is he doing up there? I have no idea other than the fact that I need to try and find a way to get to the top now. Start with some well-placed ender pearls onto the, onto the side like that. Be careful because it's a long, long way to fall, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got a chest as well. Oh, nice. Probably already looted him. Nothing, uh, nothing worth taking right now. And what is he doing up here? He's thrown an ender pearl. Where's he thrown it to? I saw it flying out. It's over that way. Alrighty. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Just as we planned. Get the sword, SP. There he is. Okay, where's the ender pearl this time? Ah, uh, it's gone back. What's his plan? Wait, did he... What did he do? I think he threw two ender pearls, you know, ladies and gentlemen. It's underneath me. Okay. This is a different place to fight, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I've got flipping it. that many endermen after me. Driving me a little bit crazy. I can hear him mining. He's gonna try and get me in the void. One thing you don't do is go crazy. This does worry me. I can see his plan to spleef me. Or maybe he's just trying to escape. I don't know. I, I can use the compass anyway to keep an eye on where he is. But he's, yeah, he's just hiding underground. See, now he's here. And he seems to be placing blocks at the same time. See if I can find him. If I keep making the tunnels, maybe I can. Swift Sneak would have been good right about now. Compass says in this direction. The thing is, it's tricky because I don't know if he's above or below. Oh, he's, he's, he, he must be below me. Wait, is he above? It gets risky though, the lower we go. Or he could have been above. I, I tell you, he, <laughs> the longer he does this, he can only hide for so long. Here we go. Here's the idea. We get swiftness on. That could be the key. Now we can go faster than him. We're going to get this sword handy as well. We're close. We're now moving faster than him. Remember, he's not only breaking them, he's also placing them back. I hear him. <gasps> We've got him. What was, what was his ender pearl? He's ender pearled out. I don't know how he did that. He threw an ender pearl. We hit him. Oh, okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Um, let's get the crossbow ready. There we go. Now his shield won't be of any use to him. And we can keep lighting him up. Oh, flipping Endermans after me. Of all the things. Okay, he's done that. I'm going to die to an Enderman here. Uh, that would be bad. <laughs> that would be very, very bad. I don't get... Wait, what's he hitting them with? Is he hitting the Enderman with strength? This is such a weird, um, a weird situation. 
This is a very weird situation. He's, he's like, can I get the Enderman to kill SB? And they keep they keep disappearing. I mean, I mean, this is a this is a this is a strategy and a half. Okay, here, here's what's going to happen, clown. You're going to get hit by that. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. But uh, better idea. We we build up. <gasps> These Endermen are. <laughs> Strength and no way, no way have I got Enderman on me with strength. This is actually crazy. If Clown kills me with Enderman, this would, this would be like the coolest thing in in the history of mankind. Okay, just gotta deal with both of the things at once. That's one down. Give me the strength, Clown. Thank you. We're doing the crossbow back. Actually, let's eat. I don't have enough for this stuff. This I need to end the pearl, load the crossbow. He's trying to. He knows the end of an angry at me again. Like he keeps making him angry at me. I don't know why? It's such a such a creative way to try and kill me. I mean, how does he keep making the end of an angry at me? That's what I want to know. Anyway, let's keep going. We know with five arrows we can defeat him. Or maybe slightly more. So he must be getting weak because this is doing some serious damage. And he can't use his shield. I have no idea how weak he is. I keep missing though. <laughs> Come on SB, now's the time to hit. He's standing near the Enderman out of a, a tactic to try and make the Enderman angry. Oh, here we go. Now I've made... Oh my goodness, this flipping Enderman. Thankfully I have, I have unlimited pearls. And water is a great counter so it's... It's not a massive issue. Oh no, I got my water. Okay, now I am in a bit of trouble. It's not a massive issue. Let's um, do that. There we go. Right. Um, this is actually a situation now. The water is the most important thing, and he's just got rid of my water. Oh no. Right, I've got to, I've got to deal with this. I've run out of food as well. I do have food. There we go. Get that down. Eat. There we go. Now let's just line him up with as many arrows as we can. Oh my goodness. I've actually had enough of this. <laughs> oh, these endermen are driving me crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, see you later. Uh, into another one. The thing is, like, I'm low on food, so I'm, I'm in a sticky situation. I need to just stop attacking him with a crossbow. I think that I have a ridiculous amount of pearls, so it's not the end of the world, but oh, don't get hit like that, Speed. Like, that's my last bit of food as well. Like, if he kills me with enemy, honestly, it would be the most insane thing ever. And I, 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 it could genuinely happen. Like, PvP's off, but, like, the Enderman's not, not gone. So I've got to make sure that I'm careful, okay? Got to get rid of this Enderman, okay? And I've just got to stay alive, because, you know, he's trying to cobweb me. There we go. Oh my goodness. Chorus fruit. Chorus fruit would have been my last, my last thing. Um, <laughs> that was, that was crazy. And I don't know how low he got. You know, it all comes back to Minnie not giving me the carrots that he owes me. I, I, I can't believe I've pretty much run out of food. I mean, I could make more suspicious stew. I really thought that he was going to kill with Enderman, which would have been an insane play. I'm very glad it didn't come to fruition. Obviously, I mean, I should never be dying if I've got suspicious stew. Like, it's, you know, it's that OP. But yeah, it was smart play by him. I mean, I'm not giving up on it. I mean, if PvP comes back on. It could be worth having a little go. I've got a looting sword here. Let's let's get shulker shells at the very least. Make it, you know, a worthwhile trip. It was just probably not the right... I don't even have uh, water now. I need, to, I need to pearl clutch it. But yeah, it, it's, I just don't have the right stuff now, do I? You know, like, it wasn't the right situation for me to be using those the crossbow. Don't take my shulker shells, thank you. These are these are both mine. I mean, given the Enderman's strength was such a cool play. I am going to follow him, by the way. Like... I, my only worry is I have no water. Well, there's worse things in the world. There is worse things in the world. Yeah, I made him use a lot of resources up. I didn't really use much. I used a few harming arrows. Pearl in a way. I mean, there's no way he has as many pearls as me. That's the main thing to uh, to do. But I can't believe <laughs> the, the Enderman play was really just an insane play. I should have just hit the Enderman with my sword. I don't know why I didn't. Why, why was I using my axe on them? Like, did, did I not have it on my hotbar or something? Because the sword just does more than enough damage. And it sets them on fire, which makes it even better. I bet he... Do, do you think he goes in there? Or do you reckon he just passes it by? To me, like he has gone in there. I wonder if I can beat him to the top. Probably not. Well, he, uh, yeah, he got the loot before me. He's careful. He's careful, isn't he? Just a little warning. Oh, oh, let's, let's cobweb him. Yeah, let's just annoy him. So give them some strength. <laughs> oh, 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 what are you going to do now, clown? Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're not the only one that can splash things with strength. Honestly, it makes it look so easy. I don't know how I nearly died to that strategy. It's like, it's like cobweb him as well. Oh, you want that? Oh. Why is he so hard to cobweb him? Can I just... I just want you to... I want to get his water. This is all a plan, you know? Yeah, it's, it's using up my... It's just wasting cobwebs at this point. It's his plan. Yeah, okay, he knows. He knows. He knows I'll be sticking around until PvP comes on as well. I mean, it's very hard to die to him, but even with the strength tactic, like... I would have had to be pretty bad to die, wouldn't I? It would have to be a pretty, you know, embarrassing performance. Look at him, he's like collecting ender pearls. I should probably beat him to it. There we go. They're my pearls now. No more pearls for you, clown. Oh, that's two for two, baby. Oh, I can't get him. This is brilliant. This is the greatest thing ever. Did I get those as well? Oh, please tell me I'm getting all the pearls. Look at him running away. PvP will be on again soon, clown. Just a warning. Look at him, he's preparing. Honestly, we're just here waiting for PvP to come back on. Look at me, I'm, I'm ready to go. I've got me got to stuff out. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's so mad. He's so angry. He's so annoyed. <laughs> I also don't think the knockback is going to be too useful, so I'm, I'm going to just do that. Another good question is, where did he go? I was just looking at him in the chest organizing things, and he's he's run off. I, I could definitely use some of uh, some of this as well. Although I'm pretty much out of space in my inventory, so I'll, I'll, just, I'll just keep moving. You know what? Why do we do? Why do we do change of plan? Why do we do plan B? Why do we do? Yeah, let's let's do plan B, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of time before PVP comes on, and and I could die doing this, or it could be amazing. All right, our PVP's on. He's probably going to run. All right. Oh, do I just go after him? I'm thinking invisibility strats and just knock him in the void. But I don't know. All I know is going invisible would be a massive, massive risk. But it could pay off, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, it could possibly, possibly pay off. And you know what? I really think it's in my best interest to try something different. So let's do it. Let's let's give it a go. We'll suspicious two up. We'll get the invisibility out. And we'll try to sneak attack him, all right? Now, I don't even know where he's gone. Let's get this uh, this compass handy. So he's gone over his side. I kind of made the mistake of letting him get away a little bit. The first thing is... Are the pearls going to do damage to me? I don't know if they are or if they just do it in combat or, or when PvP is not on. Let's see. How, how, how are we dealing with this? Okay. All right. So we, we take quite a bit of damage from Enderpearl. So we, we want to avoid that where we can. I also only have this suspicious stew. Maybe I should make it so I have plenty more. Grab all of these. Yeah. So we can, we can craft more suspicious stew as we go. But the big thing is I'm happy to lose all this stuff. Like if I die, I understand. Like, it, you know, it's a pretty good chance I will die. I'm happy to lose it all. The biggest mistake was not thinking of this sooner. You know what? I reckon I can have my armor on and just pearl along for now. Hopefully he didn't go through that end gateway and leave. It looks like he went quite far away though. Maybe he's panicked. Maybe he doesn't want to risk another another attack from me. But he can only go so far because bridging like this does take time. Imagine if I get him and then I can knock him in the void when he's bridging across. That would be so good. Wish I'd have thought of this before PvP. Like when we were just stood doing nothing. I wish I'd, I'd had this plan in the works. Okay. There's an end city here. Now then. Okay. He's over there. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. I don't know if he's seen me. Who knows? How much? I've got three minutes of invisibility left. Okay. I don't know what he's up to, but we, we, we play the game of patience. I think it makes sense to drink another invis. Has he seen me? Has he seen me? I don't know if he has or not. If he's just running past or what he's doing. He might have made a tracker. He's definitely made a tracker. Clampius tracker. Oh no, I've lost the tracker that's on him though. So if I lose him, I've lost him. This is going to be very interesting. We know how handy he is with the pearls. So even if I knock him in the void, he might be able to pearl clutch it, which is... Something to worry about. Does he know I'm chasing him and I'm invisible? I have no idea. I'm gonna eat up just to give myself a little bit extra, and then we and then we run after him. What's he doing now? He's just over there. What? I don't know what. We just need him to put himself in a bad spot. Actually, also all depends how well he can see the particles. Like, does he have the particles turned on? Does he know? Is he looking for me? I have no idea. He's looking around though a lot. Like, what's he doing when he looks down like that? I don't know why he just keeps running back and forth. He must know something's up. To be honest, if he, if he was to come back along here. Wouldn't be a bad spot to knock him in the void, actually. I mean, you hit me. You, you kill me. He's just attacked. He's attacked. Whoa, he broke the rules. He, Ladies and gentlemen, he can't do that. He can't. He attacked me. That We have a deal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Two lives are yours. The, the, the he... He's given me two lives. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm no longer safe. And there's the confirmation. I have now got more lives than Clown Pierce. He had had enough of being followed and he has ended the deal through force. And just to clarify for those that haven't seen every single episode, a few episodes ago, me and Clown made a deal that if he attacked me, he would have to give me two lives because I gave him one of my lives at that moment in time. He just attacked and killed me. So I get two of his lives. 
That is why I'm now on 8 lives and he is on 7.